Signore e signori, buona sarta. Sono onorato di invitare sul palco il solo e unico, il leggendario uomo della fragola e legge da distorto e bene del vecchietto me. So, we have a lot of uh, stuff planned for you tonight. We're going to do a very special show. I heard that the Aboriginal people from Australia, they use the didgeridoo to tell stories. So I took this, this idea and today you're going to hear some stories, you're going to hear some music. And I took this idea of taking the didgeridoo and mixing it with modern technology, many different genres. So, here we go. We're going to start with a song that we really like. This song is called Ear Candy. And we use it to focus on what we want to happen in the next 45 minutes of this show. So you're welcome to join in. Take a deep breath. Relax and enjoy it.
Wow, thank wow, you so much. So much, so much, so much, so much. Wow, it's crazy to be here. All right, so I know some of you might be wondering, what is that thing that you're playing? So let me give you a quick explanation. So this is called a saxo dig. It's like a saxophone didgeridoo. It can do a bunch of things. It can be like a regular didgeridoo and make these crazy sounds like... It can also be like a trumpet. And like a trombone. Thank you. And I travel around the world and I'm always looking for places where I can go inside and there's like a huge echo and I can do And I lived in Berlin for five years. When I came there for the first time, my mom and my sister came to visit me. And as we walk around town, we saw this huge church. And as we see this church, we go inside. And as we go inside, you probably remember last time we were in a church. You go inside and everything you say echoes really big. And everybody's whispering. And you hear what they say. So we walk into this church and there's like this holy vibe. And as we walk inside and I hear this sound, my eyes start to open up. And I have a really stupid idea in my brain. I didn't tell you this about me, but I take the saxo ditch everywhere I go. So it was on my back. So I put the bag down. I take the didgeridoo out. And on the way up, I see my sister's face. And she gives me this face of, please, please don't do it here. And I give her this face of, oh yeah. And? the church <laughs> and I really like it I call it sound and echo but they didn't like it they called the police in many different churches that I did that until I found this place in Berlin I found an underground urban station called Moritzplatz anyone been there in Moritzplatz in Berlin Woo! lots of people from Moritzplatz so I've been there I came to this train station I fell in love with the sound and I came there day after day and played the same mantra into the didgeridoo until it became a song. And this is what we're gonna play for you guys right now. This is called Didgeridoo Moritzplatz. And just to get you a little bit more into the situation, it's an urban station, lots of people in a hurry, they're walking very fast, they have appointments, meetings, they're looking at the watches, there's trains like da, da, coming and going, and I'm standing there in the middle of the station, and I'm doing this.
thank you so much. So before we move on to the next song, I want everyone, I want to take a second to make some crazy noise for Sheva on the guitar. Make some noise! Woo! And make some crazy amounts of noise for E! So the next song we're gonna play for you guys, this is called Fucking Delicate. You probably noticed in the last song, like beatboxing is a big part of my life. And if you see me walking in the street somewhere, or here today, before I came to the show, I was like... When we're on stage, you know, but sometimes I do this at the wrong place, at the wrong time. Like I'm standing in the, in the bus station and everyone's suddenly looking at me and I'm like, oh, I just started in the middle of the bus station. But the funny thing is, I noticed about beatboxing is that while I do it,